Hello everyone, my name is Ame Bustamante and I am the commercial manager of Gaston Sacas Chile, a Latin American GMC. And I'd be glad to share with you some information about our country and as you can see in the title about luxury travel. So first of all, welcome to Chile and let's see how to have a luxury trip from the north to the south. In 2019, we received more than 4 million of passengers from all over the world. And of course, Santiago would be your first stop. There are a lot of options to do in Santiago City. And of course, you don't have to miss out the historical area, visiting the government palace, the main square, the Great Avenue, or visiting the modern area with the, the tallest building in South America. So. Yeah, we have a lot of options, but the thing is how to enhance your experience into a luxury trip. So in this case, um, I'd be glad to share with you and give you some tips and some places that you can stay for living a, a real luxury experience. So here you have some options of accommodations. All of these are five-star hotels, uh, which offer uh, all kind of uh, services inside, all amenities, uh, all of them have uh, restaurants, spa, and so on. I mean, all the best quality of services that a five-star hotel offers. In this case, you can see this is Singular Santiago. So here are the lobby bar. So you can see this is a very charming and classic place. Um, this is a rooftop. And then we have Double View Santiago, which is a chic and modern place, also a five-star hotel. And you can see some event here. And here you have the room. So next, a luxury and classic place, Ritz Carton, for sure. Here you have the lobby bar, your new rooms, and the bar. And of course, last but not least, Mandarin Oriental, which is the most amazing hotel in Santiago. I mean, the biggest one. And of course, now it's even more than a five-star hotel. You can fi find restaurants inside and you can see now, I mean, the amazing, amazing view from, from the room. So this, is, this to hotel is totally spectacular. And do we have more options of accommodation? Of course, we have, there are more five-star hotels and there are also boutique hotels. So yeah, I mean, you can, you can choose from a, a, a range of, uh, of hotels, uh, five-star or even four plus where you can have a, a luxury experience for sure. And then, of course, if you want to enhance your experience into a luxury trip, you have to visit the gastronomic center. So, uh, well, there are a lot of neighborhoods here in Santiago. We have almost five uh, neighborhoods, which all of them are gastronomic centers. But here you have two of them. I mean, Bella Vista neighborhood is one of them. It's quite popular. Yes, but you can find inside a very good quality of restaurants and a good quality of chefs too. So yes, I mean, you can have a very good dinner, a very good lunch at this place. And if you want something else and go beyond, I mean, you can, you have Puerto Rio. It's another gastronomic center in a very good neighborhood in Santiago. And here, of course, you can find a lot of restaurants, the most amazing restaurants, uh, um, different kind of, I mean, Chilean food or Arabic food. Uh, so, you know, this is the place. And then we also have one restaurant, which is Boraco restaurant. I mean, this has been a word. I mean, you can see here, but it's the world's 50 best restaurants in 2019. So they have received uh, this award uh, that year. So, I mean, being at these restaurants an experience it's itself and what else to do around of course visiting our vineyards we have a lot of valleys along the country and even we have more than eight uh, hundred of wine cellars along the country 
So, um, well, we have a lot of vineyards around the city and uh, most, all of them, most of them, they offer activities, um, uh, tour and tasting, of course. But there are a few that they also offer uh, a very good quality of accommodation. So in this case, and in order to enhance your experience into a luxury trip, so I mean, Matatik would be a very good, uh, a very good option. They have a very good quality of wine, a very amazing gastronomy. So the good thing is that here you can mix the experience, the activities, uh, with the accommodation experience at this amazing boutique hotel they have inside the vineyard. So I have to say that this is the plus and if you want if you want to have a rest and you want to drink wine, a very good wine, uh, I mean this is the place. And there are also also another option for drinking wine and sparkling wine. This is the Vinyamar vineyard. You can see here the the great uh, architecture, the great infrastructure this uh, vineyard has. And this, this is perfect for spending the afternoon if you want to have a chic place with a very good restaurant and with this amazing uh, backyard. And now, Vic Vineyard. Here you can see the infrastructure is totally out of this world. This is also a boutique hotel. Um, the vineyard has uh, a few rooms. All, all of them are different from each other. You can find artwork inside the rooms. And here you can see this small garden they have inside, I mean, this, this building. Well, the decoration, the design is absolutely <laughs> amazing. It's totally beautiful, absolutely chic. So, I mean, this is the place for spending the time if you can do it and you can drink a very good wine. And, and why a very good wine? Okay, first, um, this vineyard has uh, these three lines of wine, just these three wines, lines, uh, Milacala, uh, Vic, and uh, La Buell. So um, these are <laughs> another level of wine. So, uh, well, if you want to try the best, <laughs> well, in this case, in my opinion, and this is the, the expensive one. This is the, the uh, Vic uh, line. Okay, so of course, if you want to come and you want to have a luxury trip, I mean, you have to spend one night here and drink in this amazing wine. So now let's move on to San Pedro de Atacama. San Pedro de Atacama is one of our uh, most important highlights we have. Well, uh, we have San Pedro de Atacama for sure, we have uh, Easter Island, we have Patagonia, and we have uh, the lake region, okay? So, but in this case, uh, well, San Pedro is in the north uh, side, and of course, when you come to San Pedro, you have to visit the geysers, you have to visit uh, Mumbali, the Altiplanic Lagoons, and of course, just interact with the culture uh, San Pedro offers. But um, if you want to have a very <laughs> good uh, or luxury uh, kind of services, of course, it is uh, recommendable to spend the night in one of our uh, five-star uh, five hotels, but uh, our all-inclusive hotels. So in this case, I will show you just some of them. Of course, we have... Uh, we have more options, I will tell you them, but in this case, you can see this amazing hotel, Cumbre Satacama. Here you have, you can see how the rooms are. And this is another picture of the swimming pool. And here you have another option. This is Nayera Alto Atacama. Of course, another five-star hotel, all-inclusive. So, well, it is important to say that you won't find a uh, two-floor building or three-floor building, I mean, not at all, because um, these hotels uh, and actually most of the hotels in San Pedro, they want to maintain the culture, the pre-Columbian culture these uh, places uh, have. So here you can see that they keep the materials that people from this place, they use for their buildings and they just create this amazing place uh, 
with uh, luxury elements, but also keeping, I mean, the culture, okay? Here you have another option. This is Tierra Atacama, five-star hotel too. Here is the bar and the spa Tierra Atacama. So it is important to say that when you get, when you go to these uh, uh, five-star hotels, uh, all-inclusive hotels, um, you have a very good quality of services and you can have uh, these hotels include all these um, excursions, okay? So you just go, I mean, in private uh, with other passengers from the same hotel. Uh, you can visit, I mean, the place that you choose. But um, you have to share uh, the, the excursion with, uh, with other passengers, okay? All of them from the hotel for sure. But uh, there is one option uh, in the north. Uh, in this case, is Awasi Atacama. The good thing is that they offer everything in private, so you don't have to share anything with other passengers. Okay. So um, this is I have to say by default. So if you if you go to this hotel, I mean they also take you. I mean your room uh, with a private excursion. Okay. I mean, this is just a detail, but this is, I mean, if you want to go beyond, for sure, Awasi is, is the option. Here you have uh, some places of the hotel. And now let's go to the Torres del Paine, okay? Another important highlight, because here we have the towers, the, the Paine Towers that we call Torres del Paine. So here we have another Tierra hotel. I mean, here you can see, I mean, this hotel is, you know, you can see the infrastructure is absolutely amazing. You can see how the nature mix with the hotel, you know. Here, this is another view. And this is the view we have from the inside of the hotel, okay. And here also, this kind of uh, five-star hotel mix, you know, a lot of good inside with the with the wool. And of course, Explora, a very quite different uh, architecture, but absolutely beautiful too. And from here, you can see the towers. And last but not least, Awasi Patagonia. I mean, as Awasi Atacama, they offer this all-inclusive uh, option, but uh, with all in private. Okay, so this is a very good option for those who want uh, a, a very luxury level and all in private. And this is the view from the inside. I mean, you can see the amazing architecture and decoration this room has. So, um, of course, there are a lot of options <laughs> along our country, but and it would be also great to complement all this experience with a uh, with, uh, cruise and visiting the end of the world. <laughs> so here you have Australia's expedition cruise. Okay, and then we, we have Antarctic, Antarctica Ventuno. Uh, Antarctica 21 cruise and Air Cruise 2 uh, for visiting the Antarctica. So for sure, I mean, you can enhance your experience with all of these activities and all of these amazing places and products that we have to offer. And as you can see, you can find a very good quality of services. And of course, from the north to the south. And we also have good experiences in Easter Island, and, but because of the time and because I can show you even, even more. <laughs> but now, I mean, probably this would be for a second chapter, okay? So I hope you, you really like all of these options and now you want to come and, and visit all our places, amazing places. So, um, well, I had, just have to say thank you so much for your attention. I would be so glad to share with you more information or if you need more information, I mean, just get in touch with us. And this video is for all our partners. Um, 
and whatever you need. I mean, we, Gaston Sacas would be here to, to help you, I mean, for, uh, in order to prepare the best trip ever <laughs> and the best journey for, for our visitors. Okay, so uh, thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye.